This is Ori. Uh, this is my first video presenting myself on YouTube to my friends in the shooting up community, especially uh, guys like Future Mad and Faginaris, which uh, I enjoyed watching the videos uh, in the last couple of months, and uh, it kind of made me want to try do a couple of my own videos, give you my insight into this uh, very specific type of gaming uh, that has this cult following apparently so um, I hope to do more videos about uh, game reviews or hardware reviews with better lighting or better script uh, but as you could see my first video was about uh, XMD plugin which uh, ended up being a really nice solution for me because I wasn't able to find a uh, a way to mod my uh, Mega Drive, which had a horrible image with uh, the component plugin to the uh, TV. So I found this one on eBay for $66, and uh, I didn't know anything about it, and there, were, there was not much information about this plugin, and uh, it looked promising. Uh, Apparently, it's the same company that did the XRGB, um, you know, the scaler for uh, the old consoles, which is very expensive. Uh, it's Mycom, I guess. That's the name of the company. And uh, I heard it had a microchip in it to process, uh, apparently, the raw data. And then again, I'm, I'm as far as from experts, in electronics as Faginaris can be uh, but apparently it has a microchip in it and it has uh, two type of output one is uh, for Japanese card it's a little bit hard to see sorry uh, it's like a rounded entry and the other one it's a uh, old school VGA input which apparently was meant for the old Japanese monitors so I was kind of worried about being able because I have bad luck uh, using SCART here in Japan and uh, and uh, I was kind of worried about about this type of, of plugin which you can see is flat uh, 15 pin uh, with respect to the normal so I, um, I bought it anyway because it was very rare and I couldn't find much information about it but it was not that expensive and it seems like a like a good thing to, to try because I'm kind of desperate well I tell you anyway so after I got it I uh, I went through I went to Akihabara and uh, I went to many uh, uh, computer stores that sells part uh, like say in Japanese uh, Buhin and uh, I couldn't find any everywhere. They told me uh, they were very surprised to see it, and they uh, I found one um, one store that the guy was very kind, and he searched on the internet, and he came out with this store uh, that apparently had it. So I went there, and he told me when I went there they had like, a whole bunch of random old computer pieces and adapters but he told me he just ran out of it so in Japan when you go to Akihabara and you look around the last resource is the Yodabashi uh, store which is like seven or eight stories of electronics and you can find pretty much everything I mean it's pretty amazing you can find anything there so I already bought their um, my uh, VGA to HDMI converter because my TV does not have a uh, VGA input so um, after talking to the guys there which were very nice I found this adapter which transformed the old flat I think it's called mini DB 15 pin to the new one and uh, and then it plugs in to the XMD uh, and I first plugged it to my uh, off-the-shelf scaler, uh, but I had no image. And then I uh, plugged it into the, my other scaler that I got, which is Arcade Forge one. And uh, after some tweaking of the moving the geometry and 
it came out really nice. I was really surprised with the image quality and all. Uh, you know, I don't have much experience with uh, shoot 'em ups in the Mega Drive. I just uh, bought a couple of games, so, so uh, it really blew my mind. You know, the the quality of the game. They're really crisp. They got that old school uh, crisp mechanic in them. It's, it's tough to explain what 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 it does it mean that a game is crisp, but game scripts that everything works you know the graphics are good enough the difficulty is good enough and you know it's got that that quality that uh, you know that that is very specific to the 90s and of the 80s era in gaming so in general shoot em ups I think uh, it's kind of games that ends well because um, age well because the, they're still there's still a great challenge in them and uh, there's like a common thread of that that goes between game to game so you can really appreciate you know the the whole totality of the shoot 'em up games because you can compare them to each other and see uh, you know you really appreciate by seeing the differences between them anyway I mean one of the reasons I did this video is I in the same time that I kind of like got the Mega Drive working like it should um, I for example I downloaded on Xbox Live the Sign Mora game which I was kind of excited about but then it ended up being like a real bust I mean the game has good graphics the game speaks Hungarian it's a shoot em up in Hungarian so it was pretty amazing it's got really nice uh, like a I think they call Steam uh, I don't know, it's like a steam something, that type of style that used this uh, old school technology and retrofitted into science fiction settings. But the game mechanics is really bad. I mean, the stages are really short and uh, the game is just either like too difficult or, I mean, it's just, it's just not fun and the whole uh, time mechanic, you know, uh, you have to shoot to gain more time to play the level. It just doesn't work. And I turned it off, turned the Xbox off. I was like, man, you know, wasted the money. And plug in the Mega Drive and play the uh, Musha. And uh, wow, you know, it really, it really made me feel like making a video and saying, uh, it's not about, it's not about uh, the eyewash. It's not about. It's not about many things that has been added to the shoot 'em up scene. It's about it's about the craftsmanship and uh, understanding the game and understanding really, really understanding the game. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's my retrospective. I'm very happy about the XMD one. It's very, very hard to find. So I'm I was glad that I found it and it worked. And you know, um, I don't know if it worked for other consoles. Uh, it might it might work for the for the PC engine with uh, with with the same type of pinning, but right now my it doesn't. I'm not able to plug it to my Japanese PC engine. So if I get nervous, I'm talking to you. Maybe uh, you know you can sort me out in the future. That's my last project. You know, I uh, say to myself, I'm gonna try to make a standard via shoot 'em up, having you know the original console and a good uh, video output and a good controller. And that's all I need, you know. So right now, only my PC engine it does not have a RGB, or in the worst case, S video, it does not have. So hopefully, I can take care of that in the future. But I was really surprised by the Mega Drive shoot 'em ups, and uh, you know, I plan to make some more videos uh, talking about them and uh, showing some gameplay or just my review. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm gonna film another short video after this one, uh, just showing some uh, V5 uh, footage, um, showing the X what the XMD does. Again, it's the XMD with a scalar RGB um, SLG3 3000 and uh, HDMI to VGA converter. So no VGA to HDMI converter. So yeah. Enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope, hopefully to see you soon. Have a good one.